Jake Paul, he's fighting a senior citizen, isn't he? And, and you're living off that, and then you're calling out Conor McGregor. This is Jonathan Aguilar, fifth pro boxing fans, joined by Ben Jardine. Uh, Here she is. Here, he is. Here she is. Uh, ben, uh, for those that don't know, uh, reality TV star, influencer, tech tell yeah, everyone well, a bit about you. Yeah, yeah. Don't believe everything you read. That's what I like to say. No, no, no. Um, do I hold the mic or do you? Yeah. It's very strong hands. I'm joking. <laughs> no, no. So basically, yeah. Um, obviously, you might remember me from such things. I sound like that geezer out of Simpsons, don't I? You might remember me from such things. Yeah. Uh, married at first sight. I don't know. Celebrity Big Brother. Um, Grease is the word. John Travolta. I remember all that. But yeah, obviously, um, I'm sure we've had a few things. But obviously, since then, obviously, I've been fighting for my daughter through the courts. We've, you know, we've done really well. Um, I'm a big ambassador for Families Need Fathers. And obviously, we're just, uh, we've, you know, we've got a pro boxing license after um, a few years now. We're 2-0 at the minute. But again, like, obviously, I've been hearing all these people, um, you know, calling out, like, we well, just saying Tommy Fury calling out Conor McGregor. Tommy, like, I've been calling you out, like, since you got out. Why are you fighting all these, like, little... I don't know. I don't like to say it, but Jake Paul, he's fighting a senior citizen, isn't he? And, and you're living off that, and then you're calling out Conor McGregor, who's like, I don't know, like, he's a... He, he, pick on someone your own size. He's a kid, isn't he? Come and pick, fight a real man, mate. You know what I mean? You sit there, you know what I mean? Beating up all these little flaming opers, you know what I mean? But do you know what it is? Do you know what I think it is? What do you think it is? High risk, low reward. You know what I mean? Give the public what they want. A proper fight. I'm sure you've had a little play in the Love Island and I've had a little dance in the Celebrity Big Brother house and at the end of the altar, but don't judge me. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? It's just like, it, that's just one of them. Mm. But then you've got this Andrew Taylor as well giving it the old Barry McGuigan. Anthony Taylor, yeah. Anthony, sorry, so you see what I mean? Yeah. Anthony Taylor. You know, like, picking on... Picking on kids, aren't they? What, what, what would happen if you fought Anthony Taylor? Oh, well, I'm sure he'd tell you all about what would happen there. It'd be an explosive, beautiful fight. But do you know what? I put my ass on me. Do you know what I mean? And do you know what? You know, I think that'd be a great fight. But you've got all these people waving their mouths off. And I think, I don't even like doing that. But like, you're asking me, you just see me sparring a day, ain't you? Yep. Do all right, wouldn't I? What would you think would happen with, with me? Draw, 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 draw. Of course he's going to say that. <laughs> well, let's get it on, let's find out. Because at the end of the day, I ain't running away from no one. And do you know what I mean? And who's this other one? Puppy? What? Salt Puppy, yeah. Salt Puppy, what's he all about? Tell me about him. He's a good fighter. Uh, he fought Anthony Taylor. Anthony Taylor beat him and then he Did fought he? Uh, Slim. He's a good fighter. And, and who's, who's the champ out of all that lot? Uh, Slim, and I think Anthony Taylor has a belt, but if I'm not mistaken. He's a fighter as well, I've heard, isn't he? Light heavyweight. Look. That's what it is, Tommy. You like me and Anthony Taylor, yeah? That's a fair fight because, do you know what? He fought Tommy as well, yeah. Did he? He fought who? Uh, Anthony Taylor fought Tommy a few years ago. Yeah. To what, Fury? Yeah. Who won out of that? Tommy. Well, it looks like it's me and you then, Tommy, innit? Let me, let me beat you, t Anthony Taylor, up and then I'll come find you. But stop picking on the little guys from UFC. Conor McGregor, mate. He's a, you know, he, he, he's, he's, he's like, I don't know, he's a competition, you know what I mean? What, what, uh, is, he, is he a boxer or a UFC fighter? Tommy. 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 Tommy's a boxer. Yeah, so what, what, when's he going to fight a boxer then? When are you going to fight a boxer? You know what I mean? I just, it just, it, how do you feel about it all? How do you feel about it all? Well, I think there's a lot of big fights out there for you if, if, you're, if, if you want them, them no, if they, they accept them. If they accept them, because remember, my manager sent you, rang you numerous times, pick up the phone. You know what I mean? We had that other kid, didn't he? He thought it was a boxer, then he backed out of it. Was it Jack? I don't know what his name is again. I forget it. Like, like, but again, all these people, the reason I don't remember your names is because who are you? When you, you've got to fight a real man, ain't you? You know what I mean? And again, look, we ain't getting any older, we ain't getting any younger. This is last chance saloon, so let's go and have a little play. Let's go and have a little play. And I promise you, I promise you, we'll be sat here next year fighting for a proper title, a real boxing title. But, you know what I mean? Because there's a title in the mix at the minute, but Tommy, pick up the phone. Taylor, sort it out. And Papa, well, name says it all, doesn't it? You know what I mean? 
I'll see you in the ring. We having it or what? This is a message, yeah? If you've got the minerals, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. But stop picking on kids. Why does everyone have to pick on these, you know? You know what it is? A UFC fighter, all right, Tommy, fight Conor McGregor in the cage then. Go and do that, yeah? But he won't, will he? Because they are behind this, right? Boxing and UFC, two totally different sports, right? I'm an old UFC fighter. I've turned boxing, so come and find me out. Come and find me out. Tell us a bit about that. So you, you did some UFC before or yeah, some well, MMA? Yeah, I used to like um, beat um, Muay Thai. Muay Thai is what I do. Right. And obviously, like, you know, like we fought, you know, the best in the world at that. So it's going to be a good quality. And, you know, I, I, I'm just... Uh, I, I, I'm, I, I've t it, I, and this is why I respect this game so much because it's two different sports it's two different sports and people have got to understand you can play football you can play rugby you can't play boxing right and, and, and like let you, you know and I think um, Andy Joshua showed that to Nagano at the weekend you know what I mean and respect respect there where it's due but again I've been honing my skills since I got out of Celebrity Big Brother yeah for boxing a boxing fight yeah so let's have a boxing fight yeah and then if you want, we'll have a, we'll go in the cage. I'm quite happy to do that as well. But we can do that. That gives a UFC fighter, isn't it, Taylor? Yes. So why don't I give you a boxing fight, I'll land you your ass in boxing, and then I'll land you in the cage, all right? And then I'll go and knock your little boy out, Fury. Is that his name, yeah? Yeah? Because he can't be picking on Connor like that, can he? I've got your back, mate. So, so what do you think of, uh, as well, you know, John Fury and what he brings to Misfits? He's a real character. He backs Tommy all the way, but what do you think of him? Well, look, I'm, do you want me to be honest about it? Yeah? Tyson Fury, amazing champion. Yeah? But you can't... Tommy, you can't hide behind your dad all the time. I'll be honest. Yeah? Go fight that Joe Egan. That'd be a good fight, wouldn't it? But... Will he? Will he fight anyone? Of course he's not going to fight anyone, isn't he? Because you know what? And we can call this tag it. Talkers and doers. Yeah? And I'm a doer. Because look where I am right now. Just have me back, you know. Well, did I get bashed up? No. no, no. That's what I'm saying. It's a good spot. It's a good spot. No, but you know what I mean? But what are they doing now? They're probably st talking. Talking down flaming to someone, ain't they? Who they're going to beat up next. Winding someone up. I don't want to wind. Stop all this winding up. Get in the ring. Be a man. Put the gloves on and let's have it. Do you know what I mean? mean why does it wind me up so much because I'm passionate about this sport and men need to fight men do you know what I mean not boys not men need to fight men do you know what I'm saying so come on let's go and have it what, what do you think of uh, Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson shocked a lot of people that one word disgraceful like that Mike Tyson is a living legend yeah absolute living legend but do you know what it, it says a thing you know mate you're like it's a, and we're like He's a senior citizen, bless him. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know, I, I heard rumours he was walking around on a stick, wasn't he? Yeah? And then why's, again, why's Jay Paul got to go and pick on an old man? He's a legend. Come and pick on me. Come and have a fight, a real fight. Do you know what I mean? But he won't. Do you know why? Because the figures won't stack up. Because high risk, low reward. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Jake Paul, you're a pussy. Stop picking an old men. Do you know what I mean? Next you'll be having a fucking fight with John Fury, won't you? Ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is though, isn't it? It winds me up. But look, it is what it is. We're here now, yeah? Look, we're in it, right? We're in it. We're going to have it, yeah? And I'll tell you what. I know I'm talking now, but I'll do me talking in the ring. But, you know... Pick up the phone now. Oh yeah, and it's Daniel Holmes as well from Marit Australia Married at First Sight. Mate, if you want 50 bags, I'll give you 50 bags. Get in the ring and have it, yeah? Well, why are you phoning my manager up just going, I want pain? You'll probably, oh, we'll give you 50 bags and you won't turn up. Who is that Daniel Holmes as well? Thinks he's the big R boxer. Like, we all know who the boy is, right? Get in the ring, and you know what? There's no smoke without fire. And look who's fire now. Puff, puff, all right? I'll have you all. Finally, what's your message to Mams Taylor? If he's watching, you want to get on one of the cards, what would you tell him? Look, you know what I mean, like, hit me up. You, you, know, me, you know me mate Joey Knight and the true Geordie. He's on the board and everything. Mams, give the fans what they want because the fans need something because you can't... You, let's have a real fight on this Misfits in. Let's do a proper real fight. Professional boxer versus professional boxer, yeah? Like, pedigree. Pedigree versus chum, yeah? Let's have it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, mams, make it happen. Because, like, I can't just keep sitting here. You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know, I feel like a fine wine. I just keep getting better and better with age. A little bit of salt and pepper as well. Do you know what I mean? Look, I'm an old man. Look, I'm a fighting old man. Yeah, I feel like John Fury now, doing that. I can't be doing that. But guess what? He's been shouting at everyone and he's still not got in the ring, has he? Where have I just been? Where have I just come from? Just in got the out of the ring, yeah. innit? Who's in the gym? Who's putting the work in? But everyone's just sitting there, mouthing off, gumming off, you know what I mean? Put your gums to some good use. Put your gum shield in, let's have it. You know what I mean? But, like, you know, we'll see. Watch this story. Watch this space. Mams, call it. Get one of them chumps in the ring, and I'll show you what a real man does, yeah? Because there's all this talking and not enough doing. I'm sick and tired of it. I want to watch something good. You know what I mean? Well, and here he is. I think yeah, at least you'd be very entertaining at the, one of these press conferences for sure. So they, they ain't got the bowl to even have the press conference with me, can they? Hey, because they keep picking and bullying people. Come and bully me. I'll bully you. We'll see what happens. Uh, ben, appreciate your time. Hopefully, we'll see you on one of one of these misfits cards soon. Absolute pleasure.